Reentry support for formerly incarcerated community members has been overlooked and neglected for far too long. And the result is a revolving door of crime and involvement with criminal justice system that devastates families and communities. When families were being broken up at the border, many found it absolutely intolerable and unacceptable. However, the same level of outrage and moral conviction has not been present for families being broken up by our current criminal justice system. That's just considered business as usual. Despite having served their time, people with criminal records often can't escape their past because they have to then face being discriminated in or disqualified from education, housing, and employment. I have personal experience with this, having had my mom incarcerated twice during my childhood. Despite her being a brilliant, bright human being, she was forced into low-wage jobs, not having opportunities that actually utilized her skills and assets. When no other opportunities exist, these community members do what they have to do in order to survive, which often includes returning to crime, or in my mom's case, back to struggling with compulsive addiction behaviors. Not too long ago, I spoke with a Ward 4 resident who we'll call Diane, who has a brother we'll call Chris, who had recently been released from prison. Diane told me that she wished she could have taken Chris into her house, but Chris and her husband didn't get along. It was the same issue the last time that Chris got out. Diane was so afraid he would end up in prison for a third time, yet felt helpless to do anything about it. Reentry supports are the resources and opportunities someone needs in order to be successful after being released from prison. This can include things like specialized job training and education programs, case management and housing supports. Imagine how things would be different for Chris and his family if he could access basic resources to help him get back on his feet. Providing dignity and opportunity to those who have served their time promotes community health and wellness. I know how much that would have made a difference for my mom. If we want folks to get out of a life in crime and stay out of it, we must invest in reentry supports that set up formerly incarcerated community members for success.